Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today, we are continuing our ongoing coverage of the Civil War taking place inside the former state of Ethiopia and the Eritrean invasion of Tigray. So today, we have some rather uh, disturbing news, some news that uh, we believed uh, was occurring, and now we have uh, absolute verification of what we believed was occurring has occurred. And that is uh, prior to and after the Abi loyalist government canceled elections in Tigray, and soon after the fighting started, the Abi loyalist government began to imprison ethnic Tigrayans who were part of the former Ethiopian National Defense Forces. The ENDF was a multi-ethnic institution with uh, quite a few of its best and brightest command staff and soldiers belonging to the uh, uh, Tigrayan ethnic group. And uh, we were then uh, informed during the course of the conflict that many of the Tigrayans that were inside of the Ethiopian National Defense Forces were being imprisoned, were being disappeared. And now we can confirm the location of one of the concentration camps where Tigrayan soldiers that were part of the Ethiopian National Defense Forces were then being transported for internment. But not only internment, they were also being transported and placed in these concentration camps, unfortunately, to be killed. And we're going to take you now to one of these sites. It is uh, deep in southern Ethiopia. And where we are going now is the Mirab Abaya concentration camp. Uh, the concentration camp is located about one mile north of the uh, town of uh, Mirab Abaya. So this is the city, the town. And due to the, to the north of the town is the concentration camp. Now, there has been updated satellite imaging of this locale. This location, the Mirab Abaya concentration camp, has been greatly expanded during the course of the conflict. Many of these buildings are no longer standing and they have been replaced with much larger buildings. There's been further expansion to the south as well. But we, we know now and can confirm that more than 80 Tigrayans in one incident were killed at the Mirab Abaya concentration camp. We believe there are more Abi loyalist concentration camps inside the former state of Ethiopia. And we are going to do our best to locate and identify those concentration camps being operated by the Abi regime. Very, very unfortunate set of events, series of events that occurred uh, in this concentration camp. We believe not only uh, were uh, Abi loyalist uh, soldiers involved in the killing of these 80 plus former members of the Ethiopian National Defense Forces, but they had also brought in civilians in paramilitary groups operating out of the town. Uh, to take part in what occurred in the Mirab Abaya concentration camp. So we'll continue to watch this very closely, continue to track the series of events that took place in the Mirab Abaya concentration camp. And again, we will continue to look for and identify other concentration camps that the Abi loyalist government continues uh, to use and uh, imprison both Tigrayan soldiers and citizens. And we also believe there could be even larger concentration camps 
inside of the despotic nation-state of Eritrea as well, further to the north. We have additional news and the exact location of a rather significant Oromo Liberation Army victory uh, that took place. We're going to take you now to that locale as, uh, as well. It's much further, obviously, uh, to the north. And the town is uh, Kachais. And this town and infrastructure inside of the town was being utilized as a regime security force outpost where more than four to five hundred B loyalist soldiers and security personnel were stationed inside of this town. And we know now that uh, fighters from the Aromia Liberation Army, up to 150 to 200 OLA fighters, attacked and destroyed the garrison at this locale. We know now that more than 90 members of the AB Loyalist Security Infrastructure were KIA'd in fighting that took place in Kachais. And this town was uh, briefly and possibly continues to be, uh, to be occupied by the Aroma, Aromia Liberation Army. So a very interesting uh, series of events. This was probably the largest engagement that took place over the last 48 hours, where again, a battalion-sized element of the Abi Loyalist government was attacked and essentially destroyed by the OLA. We believe that uh, a, a large school in this town, possibly the area we're looking at right now, had been used as a garrison site for both the uh, uh, possibly Amharan paramilitary forces that moved in from the north, a B-loyalist intelligent services operatives, ENDF units, former ENDF units, and possibly um, federal police forces as well were located at this site. So again, we'll try to ascertain more information about uh, what occurred. There were two other uh, engagements that took place, again, uh, very, very close to this area in which the Aromia Liberation Army engaged and destroyed a total of three Abi regime sites. So as I close today, as uh, we continue to see what is happening in Tigray, I, uh, I think at this point it is very important for both Tigrayans, people living outside of Tigray, to take a look at what occurred at the concentration camp at Mirab Abaya. And quite possibly, quite possibly, rethink what is currently happening. And again, I think if as we look and we analyze what occurred in Marababaya and other locales as well, again, as I talked about the social contract being broken by Obi Ahmed, by Isaiah Safwerki, one can only think what is going to happen in the future if the Eritrean army, the Abi loyalist government, continues the occupation of the Tigray region. And one would think that the Tigrayan defense forces also has to be looking at what occurred at the Mirababaya concentration camp and rethink possibly its future and its relationship with certain actors in the region. So that's all we have for today. We will continue to watch, report, and bring you more content for your consumption. Thank you for joining us today. Have a good day.